What's up, YouTubers? So did you like what you saw? It's called Polish kielbasa. The same as a sausage, just a little bit different recipe, grinding, stuffing, hot smoking. Internal temperature 150-155 and it tastes very, very good. So let's get started. Two pork butts. I cut out capicolas. I still love them. I'm still making them for myself and uh, we'll be grinding it. We will add some spices and they are just a simple, I don't know you see white salt or no, but salt, a little bit of a sugar, uh, black ground pepper, marjoram, and that is the key ingredient for the flavor. And garlic powder. I'm sorry, I was a little bit too lazy to get garlic. Recipe would be for garlic and a substitution for the garlic powder. I believe everything's pretty much easy. You could add a different spice if you want to. Please experiment, it's your call. So grinding is done. We will put probably everything together, we we'll clean it up, we will put it in a fridge and I will see you tomorrow, which will be like right now. And here we have it. It's a second day of adventure. Again, if you don't want to wait, just put an hour or so in a fridge, better two or so, and you're ready to stuff. Meat is here, uh, that's half of it. I mixed it again today just to get spices through. That's my stuffer. I have ready casings on the end of it, on the tube, on the spout, whatever you call it. And let's get rolling. Everything what will happen is I will put the meat in and I will start to do the process. Now again, I will explain links. You can continuously run very long sausage and then uh, hot smoke it as is, or you can make links approximately, whatever size you will decide. Pound, pound and a half, it's just, it's just how it's more convenient for you. Try not to leave an air gaps uh, in between meats. This way your uh, stuffing process will be way more effective and you will not have air gaps in the sausage links or sausages. It fits about five pounds of meat, so first set's ready to go. I will be posting a separate review of the stuffer. I do like it, I do approve it. It's not uh, a huge one, but it's very compact for me to store it. And again, it fits five pounds of meat, which makes me really happy about it. As you see, even one person can manage that. It's way better than previous videos showing with the KitchenAid stuffer. It was a suffering part, but uh, here I can adjust my um, quantity of the meat and I just need to know that, you know, it will be back kick, so I need to stop when I want to. Yeah, let's, let's put it nicely. Let's put some water in here just because we want it to slide a little bit better. Here it is. Now, if you see that you're ready for links, just uh, let's make them. Now, these will be not regular links. I rather hang them something like that. So what I will do, I will still turn. So I'm making loops pretty much like this. I'm leaving a rope open inside. Now oh, you see it better. Just for the reason that when I smoke, it's easier to hang on a, on a plank. 
So that's what that's what the reason is about. And let's continue. It's okay. So what we will do, we go here, we can cut. We push it down. Now you don't need really to put the knot on it because if you will make a loop which is a self uh, self closing loop you can just go through it put it two times over the loop and then just close it Let me put the self-closing loop here too. Again, usually you will do two times just because it would not slip. Here it is. One more loop. And that's it. What's next? I will be stuffing more and I will continue the same process because when I will open it, it actually will have some meat still in the, in the end of the stuffer. So I can just add to it and this way we will be continuing the process. Okay, so we're done. That's the stuffed sausages. As you see, there are different sizes. Uh, some of them bigger, some of them smaller. What can we do? It just happens, but all of them will be cooked up to the internal 150, 155. After that, we need to put in a cold bath. We need to stop cooking. So you will see I will be putting in a smoker, smoke, heat, reach the temperature, put in a bucket with the cold water. Cool it off, then you can start to eat immediately. You can fry pan it, you can uh, put with the cabbage, sauerkraut, whatever you would like to. So we put everything in. I just now turned it on. You see temperature is low, which is good for now. One was too long, so I just hang it over the other wooden plank. Everything's ready to go. What we have here, this is a heat. Uh, how to explain it? Uh, it doesn't allow heat to go in one spot. It gets hot all and it uh, irradiates heat out. This is cold smoke generator. Again, I'm not putting that in the beginning. I will be waiting probably good half an hour. When meat will dry a little bit, then it absorbs smoke a little bit better. And as you see, it's dripping slowly. Temperature would be about 200. I don't want to go too fast, too high. So after, again, good half an hour when I will put the smoke in, on, I will probably put the probes in the smallest sausage and probably in the biggest sausage. So I will get the medium reading. And uh, I'll film again, probably again in half an hour when the smoke generator will run. So I did speed up all the process. That's the beginning, half an hour, color already changing. And as you see, there is no smoke. Another half an hour later, color is getting more deeper. There, there is a probe. I will be starting smoke generator. It's time to go. And uh, I speed up because there is no reason to show that on slow motion. Close vents, open vents. Again, checking what's going on. It is done. Physically, the internal temperature was 153. 0.9 and what I will do next I will put in the bucket with water guess what that one again I was not able to show just because I forgot to turn on my camera 
I'm sorry, it is becoming an issue for me, so it looks like I will be slowly changing my equipment. Now, water is becoming warm, sausages, uh, sausages, kielbasas, uh, becoming uh, more firm and cooler. Now I'm showing how you can determine it's done or not, because uh, if it's a little bit softer casing, it's becoming a little bit softer. That means fat is already melting. And if you see the difference, another one was wrinkled a little bit and these ones are very nicely stretched. So that's what I was going for. But again, I don't want to leave the product uh, not good cooked, uh, not cooked enough. So that's what I was looking at. Now I still continue to do smoke because I wanted to get a little bit deeper color and a little bit heat is off. A, a little bit deeper color and uh, a little bit more smoky flavor. It does have good flavor, so in the beginning of the story if you want to try it, you, you really don't need even to do the smoke generator, but I just love it. Uh, you can then you know mix it with different things. Uh, like you can fry pan it, you can really do uh, sandwiches out of it. In the morning you can just cut it out and put with mayo and here it is. You have it. And it's really tasty. And as you see, temperature is low, smoke still running. I smoked probably about an hour, hour and a half in general after the cooking process. So they get a little bit drier. Now the downfall of that was that skin became a little bit harder because of course it dried but again if you want you can remove the skin i didn't do it it's a, it's a natural skin so i was eating with everything and that's pretty much the process you just uh, you know watch what you're doing and again experiment see what you would like and the last part is the cutting test so what do we have here uh, color changed a little bit. It's a little bit darker. I don't know if you see that or no. Of course. Smell wonderful. Smoked. How it looks like. Make it easy. I believe this is exactly what we would like to see. How it tastes like. Tastes the same as last time, that's why I'm doing it. I like it. The consistency of the meat, you see it becomes like really solid. Even, even with broken skin, still takes a little bit of the effort to pull it apart. That's exactly what I was looking for. If you want softer consistency, you can do second grind. Mm -hmm. Recipe could be kept the same. Now all these small holes, that's where the fat actually slowly started to melt. But again, I know when the ends are uh, soft and they're starting to change the consistency of the skin of that casing, that's when it's time to go. Though again, I'm using uh, probes to see what the temperature is inside. So just, just watch by this, you, you don't need the probes actually, but now what will be next? Probably will be sauerkraut, cabbage, all of this would be boiled together uh, and then it will be very, very tasty dishes. So thanks for watching and that was really smoking.